James, the author of many books for Walker Books, including The Loneliest Girl in the Universe and The Quiet at the End of the World. World. Uh, I am going to talk to you today about my latest book, which is coming out in autumn 2020. This is my co-writer, Oliver James, and he's going to be joining me for this video, apparently. All of my books so far have been science fiction, but this is a bit of a divergent for me. It is a uh, fantasy horror and it is called The Reckless Afterlife of Harriet Stoker. It's about a girl who goes exploring an abandoned building on the outskirts of her university campus at Warwick University to take photographs for some coursework for her uh, degree in photography. And uh, while she's taking photographs, she fall, trips and falls to her death in Chapter 1 and immediately becomes a ghost. She wakes up to find that the building is full of lots of other ghosts of students who used to live in this halls of residence in the 90s and all died mysteriously on one night in 1994. And ever since then, they've been uh, in this suspended state as 18 year old students living together as ghosts. And they have formed a kind of society in this building. They are not allowed, they can't leave. And all they can do is spend their time hanging out and they've turned into a very odd little network of people and so Harriet Stoker goes in as this uh, very modern student from 2020 and um, has to deal with not just being dead and being a ghost but also being surrounded by all of these old students from the 90s. Harriet is the primary carer for her grandmother who is very elderly and lives alone in Coventry and recently broke her ankle and so Harriet becomes very concerned as soon as she discovers that she is dead that her grandmother will have no one to look after her and starts looking for a way to leave this abandoned building and get home to where her grandmother lives uh, and finds out very soon that ghosts are not able to leave the place where they died. As she starts to investigate this problem more and search desperately for ways to find her way home, she starts to gain more and more power and eventually that leads her into all sorts of trouble with these other ghosts in this building who are a very close-knit community. It's about being who you truly are, even if that frightens you, and owning up to the parts of yourself that you've never wanted to face. For some characters that involves their sexuality, for others that involves whether they are willing to murder and destroy everyone around them. <laughs> Harriet has a very reckless afterlife and I hope you will join me in discovering how she ruins everyone's lives, or deaths, ruins everyone's deaths. Uh, the novel is the longest I've ever written and I found it a really difficult process because it it's the first time I've written a story that takes place from multiple characters' perspectives. Usually I stick with one character, like Romy or Lowry or Kate or Clove. This time around I flipped between all of my little ghosts' heads and that made it really difficult because I had to learn from scratch how to make each character feel distinctive and unique from each other. So it was a real test of my skills as a writer and I've definitely learned more from this novel than anything else I've written. Uh, and especially because it was fantasy as well. So I couldn't just rely on the science to get me through the fiction. I had to make up world building and magic rules from scratch, which is an underappreciated skill, I think. It's for fans of Being Human, the BBC miniseries, or Crashing by P Phoebe Waller-Bridge. It's also inspired a lot by Misfits and Skins, those kind of um, lewd, funny, comedies with an element of horror. Uh, I like to call it a horror rom-com. So if that sounds like your bag, it will be out in 2020 around Halloween. I am very excited for many skeleton themed dresses. Uh, I'm sure I will be dressing Oliver up as some kind of creepy goblin as well. And of course, I look forward to surprising everyone with lots and lots of plot twists, which I think this book probably includes more than anything else I've ever written. But thank you for listening and thank you to Oliver for stealing the show of this very short video. Uh, I am sure none of you were actually paying attention to what I was saying. I don't think I was paying attention to what I was saying. He's very cute and I hope you enjoy it.